Oh well. And we're gonna we're gonna watch the last uh, the last Jedi review. Um, this uh, is by uh, a uh, Jared Genesis. Jared Genesis. This frame is overexposed. He, He's, the lights are too strong. Yeah, I, I oh, there ain't gonna be any strong. <laughs> there's not gonna be a strong light in this video. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> His hair. His hair almost <laughs> looks. It, it's like on the cusp of looking normal for once. It it almost does look like a normal person. It's still there. got the it's like the beginnings of a crusty the cloud hairdo. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like he's preparing for a like a like a role. Like he's trying to get in the character for a role, you know? He's gonna be playing the Joker. He's gonna be playing a loser. So he's, he's been <laughs> practicing his whole life to be <laughs> <laughs> That's a mean thing to say, but this guy's not. Well he got rid of the Wolverine haircut, so he's definitely not trying out for that role. And he, and he still he still got the the drum set that's never touched and the the ninja turtle on the the dresser. Hey, this is the <laughs> clean this is the cleanest his room has ever looked. Legitimately, I think you're correct. Cuz I've watched like, I've watched way too many of his videos. This is the cleanest I've seen it. What's that action but, figure on the top right, the brown one with like the two swords or whatever? I think that's another Ninja Turtles one. That that's a, the Ninja Turtles. That's the uh yeah. the Warthog, isn't it? I can't remember his name. Bebox and Rocksteady, isn't that what they're called? Might be. Yeah, the other one's on I, the, I, yeah. the thing to his shoulder. And the... Yeah, that's right. And the be the Rhino is the one next to him, the drum set. It's weird because since the stuff is still on his like dresser drawers like that, it means they just haven't been opened. And ever, it's just strange. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> Do we want to know? Yo, 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 yo. Oh! What's up, guys? Jared Genesis oh! here. So I got a special review. I'm so uh, excited. Movie that had very mixed reviews to it, uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Yes, I actually did watch the entirety of this movie. Um, wow! <laughs> wow! Good. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's good. It's good most, that you watched the whole movie before you did a review on it. Most <laughs> reviews tend to have that as a, a standard, but you know that's fair to to to, to make sure you did Just that. Put it out job. there. I mean, in, guys, in, I in the, I only the watched H. the first ten minutes and then I walked out of the movie and was like, well, I get this, to make this, a whole review now. Lucky you. In the <laughs> age of media when, mistrust, that's probably a smart move, Jared. This reminds <laughs> me of when IGN only half completed all the Crash games before they did their. <laughs> <laughs> like oh halfway's enough hey it, it, is, at least was, um, he's more honest than philip whatever the hell his last name is joseph anson really? was planning on doing a big like comparison uh with the new mario versus the old ones and like his fan base were like he deserves a lot of praise as a reviewer because he actually went back and uh played all of those oldest mario games and i was just like if he's gonna be comparing them that sounds like you should of course do that. Right. <laughs> why would there's like no special reporter, to do that. Reporter who was reporting on Pakistan went to Pakistan. I'm like, good. I would expect yeah, one to. Seems like a good yeah. thing to do. Yeah, I I read this whole book to do a book review on it, and I'm like, good. That's laudable. I even read it twice. Yeah. Because like I'd rather people didn't know how many times I've had to watch the movies that I end up reviewing. I was like, <laughs> you're right. You don't need to know. Short attention span and all. <laughs> I watched out all. Of even though I didn't get some <laughs> I love it. I love that this is open candidness. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's great. In mind, it too I cerebral. haven't seen... To be fair, when I was walking out of the theater, I don't know if I got it all either. I was, thinking, I was, still, I was still processing for a while. I was shaking my head a bit. Well, you constantly. remember, like, from day one, initial reviews, people were talking about, like, what was the whole Holdo thing? Like, why didn't she tell Poe? Like, most people came back with just like, hang on. This whole yeah. Holdo Poe thing. I was like, I, I felt like a perpetual, like a meme of somebody just with a finger in their mouth open, like they're about to say something and they can't quite put a finger on it. You know, yeah. that was me for like two days. <laughs> like, I, I can't quite process what I just saw. I got, I'm confused. Well, you, you see, you, you the... talk to a bunch of people that you go, oh, it was stupid. Oh, it was stupid. Okay. I think this was made in oh. July. So while it took you two days, it took him seven months. <laughs> He finally saw it. it, play, it <laughs> he theaters. figured it out. But his his the, the theater by his house was still playing it. Yes. Black Panther. So he has attention issues. He did say, "Come on, <laughs> come on, come on the theater." That's fine. Seen like all every single movie in the Star Wars series. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, some people may say I'm a bit crazy for this, but like I really haven't even seen that much of Star Wars movies. Right. I've seen bits and pieces. It's kind of like. Um, but I'm let me review the Last people. Jedi. I don't even. Is it that hard to be able to say like? 
whether you've seen the originals and all the prequels. Yeah, just, I, just I, say I guess if just... you have or not. It's like I have a I have a basic general understanding about the franchise, but I'm not a fan and I haven't seen all of it. So this review will be so take this review from the perspective of somebody who doesn't have an invested knowledge in the the Star Wars universe. I'm guessing he's so out of the loop that he doesn't even really know about how everyone typically splits it with Disney prequels and OT. I don't know. You know it's really it's pretty easy to sort it, but if I guess if, if you're under a rock and you've never heard of that, it's just like, yeah, okay, I guess you would be confused maybe going in, be like, well, which ones are the old ones? Which ones are the new ones? Yeah, I'm curious about if I was doing a review like this, I would I would say something like, here's what convinced me to see this one, even though the other ones I didn't want to see. There we go. That can just like watch clips of a movie. I don't have to watch the whole thing, unless I really like it. Um, that's why I'm glad they have stuff like movie clips on YouTube. Uh, oh wait, 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 Pro. Um, Jesus. that is how can you consume? Like, that's barely even consuming film if you just watch clips on YouTube. Out okay, of that's context. precisely like the bad thing that they people uploading clips from films and then you watching them and treating that as consuming the film is awful. That's something that shouldn't happen. It's like, mm -hmm. no, there's so much that goes in between. It's like, you watch 20-minute clips of a movie that's an hour and a half long. It's like, you could, even doing that much, it's just, you, you're so you're much. You're really missing out a lot of, of what It's the like using a about. magnifying glass on a Picasso. It's like, you gotta see the whole thing, you know? You mm -hmm. just have to. You gotta. Well, though he He's saw nature, he but... saw about twenty minutes of Return of the King on YouTube, and now he can make a review on the whole four and a half hour movie. <laughs> and so we I guess, I guess these yet. short dudes really hate jewelry for some reason. And, <laughs> and I don't know what's up with that. Better call well, Saul like... season one review. So I watched uh, twenty minutes of the first episode. Um, this, this is a great show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, about this movie, so I wanted to go ahead and just watch it for myself. <laughs> no, you uh, wanted to watch all, it for your mom. Say, <laughs> this is it's, your mom was going, and she asked if you wanted to come along, and then she said, "I'll buy the tickets." And he said, "Oh, in that case, he's doing it for the people, guys. Come on, he's a man <laughs> for who all four of his fans. Audience. It's all for the audience, and I can respect that." My first thing I just gotta say is like, "Oh my god, that lady with the purple hair." I'm sorry, but, um, like, what the hell, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is actually a good review so far, all I things mean, considered. <laughs> it's, fun, yeah. it's fun because it's so, like, unbiased in terms of... I know. He's just, it's just a thought he had. It's no filter. Real... <laughs> There's no filter between the head and the mouth. It just... It's <laughs> the the just comes it's straight just out. Person with purple hair. He's like, yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> you don't have to know the name. It's like that chick with the purple hair. Oh, <laughs> it's like some old like fucking I don't know. Uh, I don't really have much of a comment, nor do I really. I I didn't really understand her full purpose, but um, I don't think anyone did. You know, whatever, dude. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of people said that she was like super SJW and stuff like that, but I mean, really, like <laughs> aside from the purple hair, I don't I don't think she was terribly bad. I mean, from what I saw, uh, not trusting men. Oh, um, what pissed me off most about the new Star Wars was how they, the way that they killed Han Solo, <laughs> and the way that they killed, um, uh, uh wrong <laughs> film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I was like, while, while I agree, caveat. <laughs> You can't That's do that. Not this movie. <laughs> it's like it's not I, just that. Though. It's like you can't go on a tangent. Look at the fucking time you've got. <laughs> yeah, it's like like Jared. I I agree one hundred percent, but. Wrong movie. <laughs> but I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you. Bring it home, buddy. Bring yeah. it home. Yeah, let's get back on track. We he, ain't got he, much time. He's almost right, at least. I, I, I'm I with you on the purple hair chick. What the fuck? Can right? we, like, snip this image and I'll just make it my wallpaper until the end of time? <laughs> I don't know. He looks like he's interested, you know? He's, no, he's I gotta, searching I, for the words. I'm going to make this my thumbnail. I have to. You have it? Oh yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, kind of the way they killed Luke Skywalker. 
Okay, now he's back to spoiler there, but sorry. Oh, sorry for the spoiler. Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker dies. Oh, sorry for the spoiler, but yeah, he's dead. <laughs> but it's been seven months, oh. Jared. <laughs> <laughs> but he had no problem spoiling Han Solo's death. Yeah. If you, oh, by the way, Han oh. Solo, he's dead at this point. <laughs> Apparently he died in some other movie and he can't come back anymore. <laughs> you know? But most people already know that. I mean, oh, this is already like a year or half, half a year. <laughs> half a year that, most people... I love it. <laughs> a year, half a year. Same year. Thing. <laughs> some period of time. What is time? Jared, please, yeah. please never time stop making fuck. videos. Don't never ever stop. stop. I legitimately love this. People know that by now, so... Really, I mean, what's the point of having a spoiler alert? On <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Dude, by the way, Rosebud's the sled. I don't know. What's up? Well, look at how his hair is sticking out from the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some fucking autistic Asari from fucking Mass Effect. <laughs> 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 Dude, I can picture him being like in the cantina and Star Wars just like that. <laughs> like, this, like with the Looney Tunes shirt and everything on. <laughs> like, he'd be like, hey, are you gonna, hey, hey, are you gonna eat that arm? <laughs> He's lost. It's like, are you a droid? <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting, looking around, confused. God damn it, um, Jared! No, but uh, Luke Skywalker was great. <laughs> Camel is an amazing dude, and you know he seems like a really genuine. Guy. Oh yeah, like, that's... you're not gonna. Oh yeah, that's well, good. Such a strange comment to make in a review of a movie, though. I know the actor's really genuine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's the actor's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy in person. Yeah. <laughs> You sure, you, yeah, I've had drinks with him, you know. Yeah, Why I mean, he, many people like... he played the bad guy in Avatar, but he's not actually a bad guy in real life. Like, again, because he's not going to review this movie, really, is he? Because he's like, it's not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, most people go like, okay, so these things happen. It's like, no, he's not bothering with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but other, but you, you, it's more of a review of another movie, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm gonna my, die. My <laughs> mouth hurts because I'm smiling. So much. I just realized this this guy looks like the main character from Peep Show. Yeah, that in Hollywood. I apologize for the glare. I should open. It. <laughs> <laughs> you went this long without noticing it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the glare, it just keeps going. <laughs> Sorry for the glare, I probably should have opened up my window. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, that's right, Han Solo. <laughs> Literally two two minutes and 40 seconds of gold. Could he possibly re-record that for No, he cannot. <laughs> this oh, video's man. already oh. perfect. He The glare only adds to the effect. <laughs> it really does. It's a style choice, damn it. Like, the li it lights up his face like he lights up my world. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> marry me, Jared. Mark Hamill seems like one of few people that I could actually respect in Hollywood, which is hard to say because a lot of people really I don't. Okay, <laughs> really, I just do not respect him. Well, you know, you are a standard uh, human being because there's no no one on this planet respects everyone in Hollywood. Well, hold yeah. on. If you have Jared Genesis's respect, that's like all you need in life. <laughs> <laughs> I respect. He's he's just like randomly gonna name celebrities. So I was like, J Jared, film review, film review, film review. But does he respect Tommy Wiseau? That's the real question. I want to see an Inside Out movie about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Except all the animated <laughs> figures are fucking retarded. Do you know that all of them are just him? Like small visions. Yeah, of him? Just, you know, all the same. <laughs> <laughs> like one of them's giving a. Movie review, the other one's talking about Ninja Turtles. <laughs> one's just Looney banging Tunes. their head against a wall. <laughs> One of them's talking to a wall. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. All right. You know, quoting Joe Rogan, <laughs> a lot of people in Hollywood are fake. 
and I'm not even a big fan. Of <laughs> it's it's okay. a Joe Rogan. Yeah, it's Joe Rogan okay. came up with that the very famous quote that a lot of people in Hollywood are fake. It's like it's full of actors or something. <laughs> do, you, do you think that he has a monitor where he's got Microsoft Word up, but he's just put in all caps "Last Jedi Review" so we can remember what this is for? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yes, right, right. Let's get on with it. His other monitor probably just has the little screensaver where the thing bounces around on the edges and it distracts, distracts him. <laughs> <laughs> this is assuming he has another monitor which i don't i don't he's think that's the thing. he's like oh my god this fucking icon is gonna hit the corner just right yes <laughs> <laughs> so i was like talking about the star wars review oh yeah joe rogan so <laughs> joe rogan. do you right, think right. if we had like a little ball on a string and we just swung it in front of his face a little bit <laughs> like if he would just stop the video and he just like stare at it it's probably fucking choking hazards he probably shouldn't <laughs> Okay, three minutes. We got this. I'm Joe Rogan, but I respect him for noting that anyways. But um, So yeah, I know I'm ranting a little bit here, but I just wanted to say, like, all in all, I did, en I did enjoy this movie. I, I thought it was fairly well written. God. Okay, uh, yeah, you see, this, oh. this is why you shouldn't have been making this review when you haven't seen any other Star Wars movie, because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Fairly well written. Wasn't as good as Sucker Punch, but it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the kind of thing I expect. Just like, not as good as a Sunday with a beer, yeah, I guess. Personally, but... I prefer The Land Before Time 6, but, you know, that's just me. I know there's a con controversial thing to say. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the second Michael Bay uh, Ninja Turtles movie, that's obviously the greatest movie ever made. That's why That my... would be the standard that we As a sequel, to. it's an improvement on Return of the King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Last Jedi: Return is of the this King. Within the Back to the Future universe, though. No, this is no, part this of the. Uh, this is part of the Transformers cinematic universe. Oh uh, yeah, it's part of I the believe Jewish Transformers in the yeah. MCU are planning on combining soon, which is going to be really cool. Optimus Prime, and fuck, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Optimus Man, Iron Man's going to jump inside him. <laughs> oh god, his soul is gonna be put into Optimus Prime. So Optimus Prime was Tony Stark all along. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, I thought and it then was Thanos. Fairly, That's how that works. Yeah. That well written. Uh was it as good as the Empire Strikes Back? Well probably not. He said he's like... never seen it. <laughs> Uh, probably no, not, I guess. Pro I pro know. Probably not. It probably wasn't that good, but it was okay. You know, he, about, dude. He, he just like saw some argument on Reddit where they were like, Empire is the best Star Wars ever made, and he was just like, I guess that's true. Oh, yeah, compare it to that. Compare it to that. It must be. <laughs> Remember imagine to this was a script, it. though. Can you imagine how like fucking incoherent all of it is? You'd just be like, <laughs> what? Why have you started here and then you moved to... What is this? But he wrote it on, like, a notepad with a number two pencil. And the page is all fucked up because of the erase marks and everything. It's like, it looks like Plinkett wrote it, you know? It's just, it's a, I mean, this uh, video is about as coherent as The Last Jedi in general, so I'll give him credit for that. Met, oh, shit, he's going meta. God damn. <laughs> it was his intention all along. Yeah. You know what's fun? We won't get a Patreon plug at the end of this because it's a it's a genuine video. <laughs> he, just uh, yeah, to say right. something. he was yeah, actually honest about this one. This is the guy who should be getting all the Patreon books. <laughs> yeah, we don't oh, even have know. to look at his YouTube report history. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> but I would just say keep that covered. <laughs> you know, it, it was a it was a good film. Uh, nope. Quoting uh, James Ralph, you know, he said, um, "Man, he's got all the quotes you ready." Did, review of did him, you just say James Ralph? He said James. You mean okay. James Rolf, right? <laughs> we're back in we're back in this shit up. All right, here we go. Uh, quoting uh, James Ralph, you know, he said uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even watch him and I know that's his name. To be fair, James Ralph, let me look up. Let me look up James, James Ralph. Ralph, that's true. Okay, first off, just cause just cause James Ralph was born in seventeen oh five doesn't mean <laughs> doesn't mean that he doesn't have any valid quotations <laughs> on the last Ralph's Jedi, last okay? Jedi review yes. from nineteen sixty seven. Just because he died in seventeen sixty two prior to the American Revolution does not mean he doesn't have good criticism. His last of written the last Jedi. Jedi. the review Wait. of the last. Well, Jedi. Let's hear his quote because I want to know what it is now. 
Uh, okay, here we go. Let, let me go back to the page. I was I was looking up. I was reading about James Ralph. He's, <laughs> you see, he died like 250 years ago. If you search, so I just if want you to make sure. James Ralph, The Last Jedi on YouTube. The fourth result is James Ralph. <laughs> this is like the end. <laughs> it was like, oh, you fucked up. Let me fix you that. Fucked up. You. <laughs> It's like, oh, it's like, oh, Jared, it's you again. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, it's James Rolf. <laughs> <laughs> this is alter ego, James Ralph. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not James Rolf. I'm James Ralph. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm an American-born English political writer and historian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I made two volumes of his history of England. Does it if you watch a review of him and Cinemasker with Mike Mate, they both said, "Well, Mike was. I think Mike was a bit harder on the movie, but James said that it was it was a good movie." Maybe well, not I'm glad great, that James Ralph still knew good. that 250 <laughs> yeah, years I mean, ago. <laughs> oh, that's genuinely because I didn't watch reviews. Oh, I didn't see his review for the last show. That's a shame because I actually do like his perspective on a lot of things, but. To just outwardly say it's a well-written film, it's like, come on. It's well-written, and some other YouTuber said it was good. <clears throat> well, and before people are like, wow, Molly, you can't let people have an opinion. It's like, if you think that that's well-written, what do you think is badly written? I'm curious. It's like, yeah, it's like, I have follow-up questions. Well, it's so hold, strange. Hold on, we're talking that's about experience. the guy who, who called him James Ralph, so for all we know, he might even not know who James Rolf is between the two of well, them. Well, he did say Mike Mate, and that is his co-host. Well, yeah, well, but how that, how do we know that he knows which one is which? Good point. <laughs> so, to be fair, there is uh, there are two channels on YouTube. Uh, James Ralph. One of them appears to be a <laughs> child of about the age of seven. <laughs> and the other the James prodigy. Ralph has a. The other James Ralph has a blog about um. About a, a kid who's about ten years old videotaping in a in, in his car. So maybe, maybe he's referring to James Ralph. He mentioned Cinemassacre too. It's done, guys. We know who he's talking about. Um, and I think that really, I mean, I think it was. Are you just shrugging like that in a review? <laughs> He just wants it to be over. Yeah, he's like, oh shit, he's like, I made a terrible mistake. I wish there was a way to not finish this recording and post it on YouTube, but it's too late. <laughs> what is done cannot be undone. Pretty well. Um, although I'm, I am sad what happened to Luke Skywalker. I, <laughs> I've never watched I, I episode five, would, but I'm sad why about would he Luke. Care? <laughs> he's not even invested in the fucking. Uh... Okay, the way that they did it. Now, Han Solo, on the other hand, this different, is movie. A different movie. <laughs> you, yeah. you fucking idiot! Stop talking about the Force Awakens. Okay. Although I'm, I am sad what happened to Luke Skywalker. I, I, I think they did it okay the way that they did it. Now, Han Solo, on the they did it okay the way that they did it. <laughs> This is a fucking review of the movie. That's gonna be on the next trailer for it. You know when they have those like <laughs> review <okay>. ratings. <laughs> it's, it's like three and a half stars. It's just a gif of of Jared Genesis shrugging. <laughs> like they did it okay the way they did it. They'll, have, <laughs> they'll print that on I the back of the box. For, like, that review is just great for any film. They did it okay the way they did it. <laughs> so stupid. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna screen cap it. Just put the quote next to him. They did it okay the way they did it. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins yeah, quote. <laughs> like, Jared, like Jared Genesis, you know, movie critic. <laughs> and not so much. I mean, really, dude, you're gonna let fucking uh, Ray kill that guy? What? Know, she's just wait, like, wait a minute. You're gonna what? let Ray kill that guy? He's like, Who? Did, was he just what talk happening? He's talking about Han Solo. <laughs> Right, really hard. Somebody. You're gonna let her kill him. what guy is? He's talking about Okay, Kylo. let's let let's revise just a little bit. Let's get there. I mean, no offense, but she's a noob. I mean, <laughs> why is no, that? she is not clearly. <laughs> why? Why go? But yeah, there we go. What happened to Luke Skywalker? I, I, I think they did it okay. The way that they did it. Now, Han Solo, on the other hand, not so much. I mean, really, dude, you're gonna let. Fucking uh, Ray killed that guy, you know, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? 
What is happening? <laughs> he thinks that Ray killed Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Ray, hey, how could you? I trusted you. Ray, Ren, they're the same thing. Is yeah, he Ray talking and about, Kylo Ren. Is he, is he talking about Ray killing Snoke? Which no, he Ray, 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 no, Ray Han killing Han Solo. Solo. He, just, Ray, seven. he just specifically said... Han Solo, and then he was like, "Really, you're gonna have Ray kill him?" And it's like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jared, Dude, I told you. Let <laughs> fucking uh, Ray kill that guy, you know? And she's just like, <laughs> "I mean, no offense, but she's a noob." I mean, come Dude, on, you're not man, wrong there. You're gonna kill the OG. Yeah. Fucking um, solo with just some. New <laughs> he just again, what? He fucked up again. <laughs> Ray's a noob, but there's no way that she could actually kill Han Solo like she does in the movie. <laughs> what the fuck is he on about? I'm so lost. Okay, <laughs> so he, in the he, film? he legitimately <laughs> believes that Ray right. killed Han Solo. I guess. <laughs> Be the response to it. it's, it's, it's like he was falling asleep in the movie and he woke up and he tried to put together what had happened in his he absence. Like, he just somehow switched them and then Ben Solo's on the fucking canopy with Finn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like Kylo Ren tried to save him, but she killed him, and he couldn't stop her. <laughs> Ray, take off your mask. What do you think you'll see, my son? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow, you really changed. Oh. <laughs> it's like wow, you. So you, you cut your hair. <laughs> Went off the rails. Like your nose got big. Fucking shit. Why don't you Jeez. close your mouth anymore? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm like, this is so bizarre that I'm like, I'm waiting for him to be like, you know, and then he said a thing and I go, oh, that's it's like, what he meant. It's like, it's like, oh, whoops, sorry. I, I just took that, guys. It turns out it turns out the protagonist, Ray, does not kill Han Solo. That's my bad. I was like, my, my wish slipped up. Dude, uh, when when one of my oh, fans Ren Ren he's he's swapped Ren with Ray. That's what he's done, isn't he? Yeah. Well, well he keeps Ren referring, to, but he says she. That's the thing. He keeps referring to Ray as a she. Sorry, like, he, he, plus, he says this is the only noob. thing that makes any sense. Is Kylo Ren? He converted Ren into Ray. He's calling him a her for no reason, and, that's and, how he's come and to he it. has accurately surmised that this character is a noob. Yes. Even I though... legitimately think I I I it's like he's inventing the plot of this movie as he goes along and then gets fun, simultaneously. Fun, fun fact, because this is going to be coming up in my series. Uh, most reviews of, of TFA explain that Kylo sucks because he's a brand new trainee and that he was beaten because he's he's not had any experience, just like Ray. And it's just like in the Last Jedi, they clearly establish he's been trained by Luke for many years and Snoke for many years. I was just like, that's more training than Luke ever had even close to. He should be really good, but he's not. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, right. chest, Ray has though, to man. win. Then he again, shot in the chest, so you can, that, you can either say point. he's not very good, or that Ray is ridiculously good, and that it doesn't matter how good he is, she'll be better. <laughs> but people don't like bad. to admit that, though, so... Because, <laughs> like, when Kylo only ever loses to her, right? Like, he wins... He's against... never won. Well, he wins against the guard. Oh, well, she saved him from the guards. Fuck it, these films... Man, yeah, when right. when one of my fans commented on the last podcast and said that he watched this video and said something special, I could have never predicted <laughs> this. <laughs> this is the best video <laughs> I've ever seen. This is wonderful. I just, I just like how this turned, this turned to see from him the, the plot that's completely not what the film was now. <laughs> this turned from a Last Jedi review to the Force Awakens review to a Joe <laughs> Rogan review. <laughs> To the whatever movie I'm making up in my head review. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> like it's from I, the perspective of Jared Chen. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather uh, have the movie that he's thinking right now than the movies that we yeah, got. Where Ray, turns, where Ray turns evil and Kylo has to try to save his father. Fuck, that would be legitimately <laughs> good. Be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Disrespect for her gender. Can we call I mean, this Jared response theory? <laughs> okay, he's, can he's, we he's coin just... that term now? Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> fucking um, solo with just some noob chick, and no disrespect for her gender, but I mean, if it was a boy or a girl, 
I would have been upset. But you know what, dude? It's it's whatever. I mean, it's not. That <laughs> it's big whatever. Of a deal to me. <laughs> The seed uh, I've people. arbitrarily constructed. It's whatever. <laughs> the seed that never happened. Like, not even my own fucking fan fiction I think highly of. <laughs> he writes it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I mean, it's okay in terms of what they tried to do is okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> My mouth hurts. My cheeks <laughs> This is Jared's magnum opus. He's never gonna do better than this. <laughs> this is why he could not re record it. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty. <laughs> I I never want him to stop. I want him to make videos until he dies. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I'm crying. Okay. I, I legitimately, my cheeks legitimately hurt, and I've my face <laughs> blurry. But but I <coughs> I think we're good. Oh. Uh. Only three more minutes to go. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> man, I haven't laughed That's a lot of video. <laughs> man, I haven't laughed this hard since I picked up a bunch of boulders with my kid on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was why you couldn't make it to the last podcast, right? You were picking up boulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at that point, I'd be like, it's better that you don't tell us that, Wolf. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So let's pr let's proceed. <clears throat> it's you know it's their religion. <laughs> they really really take things out of hand. But guys, listen. I'm just gonna end the review saying this. <laughs> Keep in mind, at the end of the day, you know, and I know this is really hard for some of you guys, but keep in mind, guys. <laughs> 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 I like how he didn't say. He basically said nothing. He's a, he's a review of a. Basically said nothing about the movie at all. Uh, other to than, wrap it up with 30% of it left. To <laughs> 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 maybe this is where you'll start reviewing the film. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, in hindsight, maybe I will review the last <laughs> The next video. Star Wars The Last Jedi review for real this time. <laughs> like, part, look at part this, two. Me, look at this fucking me, face he's what? making right now. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just a fucking movie it's just a movie series it, it's, Thanks. it's nothing more congratulations nothing it's for not noticing a religion that. it's not a way of life it's just a goddamn movie and there's plenty of other movies that you know are just as good if not better than star wars and to be quite honest like what? i get the hype but some people, like, holy shit, really, dude, just get a fucking line. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Please tell us more of this life. <laughs> I, listen, I, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but I want you to look at the bedding material on the right hand of the screen. <laughs> and I want you to understand that it looks like this is a, a, a thick blanket on a on a plastic table <laughs> with an with an uncovered an uncovered pillow He's, he seems to be at, he has a blanket on top of a table this is his bedding and i'm confused i i think Man, he downgraded. Is he a real person? Is he? A <laughs> this is like he was constructed in a lab, dude. <laughs> he's, character performance. He's he's the result of an algorithm that examined tubers, and it created his like what is he sleep on? Oh, you know, a plastic fold-out table with a blanket on it. You know, that's just where he had like a, they had like a slime in a science lab, and they applied lots of like elements to it. And it grew into him. He escaped. He started a YouTube channel. They were like, let's get. It. I was like, no, wait. 
Let's observe him. It's him in his natural environment. <laughs> I was like, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's, let's see what he does. He's like that Twitter AI that started calling everyone Nazi. Tay? Yeah. Tay? The, like... the one that started saying death to all Jews within like two days. <laughs> That's Hitler did nothing wrong. That's what they said in the internet. <laughs> but I just can't get over the fact that he sleeps on a plastic table. <laughs> Dude, th th this is a... <laughs> This is a clear. Like, you, am I seeing this wrong? This is, is that what actually? This is a clear downgrade because he because I because I remember question. I remember he used to have two mattresses that were just haphazardly thrown on the floor. You're right. Oh my god, you're right. But dude, look at uh, there's five different materials you can see that construct the bed. It's like how do you account for all of that? Well, I'm I'm actually gonna gonna go look. Because in his recent videos, the bedding is the same. It's a table with with a blanket on it. <laughs> he had to do some budget cuts for the lighting. <laughs> I guess, but... Not to get if... the ticket money to go see the... <laughs> <laughs> but I thought his mom uh, bought it for him. But some of his... Because well. he's got 69 videos, so if I scroll, like, down... <laughs> if, I, if, I scroll, if I scroll down, I'm, I'm looking at... I'm, I'm just staring at the bedding. Like, what has become of his bedding? He used to have a he used to have a, like a monitor back. I don't even where is his bed in this one? It's like disappears <laughs> and reappears. I'm fucking not shitting here. Let, let me know that is his, his dining table, table, and we can see his meal. Like, the bed's gone. Doing. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it literally like it's like an, it's like a mobile thing. Like whenever he's tired, he just throws the blanket on something. <laughs> Genesis is fueled by pillows and other <laughs> soft items. Like you have some videos here where the the bed is just like, like not there. It's not a. Thing. First off, I'm gonna. First off, I, I don't I don't want you to laugh too hard at this image, but I'm gonna post it, and I want you to understand. <laughs> that this, this, He looks like a like a yakuza character, <laughs> but his his bed is like not even there. It's it's like it's like, like a ripped up piece of fighter. it's it, it's like he he ripped out a piece of insulation from the wall and laid it down. You know if he was. <laughs> If he was in the cantina style, some people would be like, "Oh, that's ridiculous! You just took some guy, and made a stupid hairdo." <laughs> and in all these fucking videos, that goddamn turtle's on the cupboard. <laughs> Is that <laughs> sunscreen on his cupboard? He's got that monitor back there. Like he has a com there's like a computer monitor or a TV back there. This is a man to be studied. Like, what kind of a treasure trove does he have? <laughs> Back there with his Ninja Turtle action figures and his drum set and his guitar. Dude, I want to see the wall we're not seeing. I want to see what else is in his room that he's looking at. It's gonna be a oh bunch God, of scientists with microscopes and stuff. Yeah, that like that window. That's a one way. That's not a window. That's a one way mirror. That's how they watch him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should let, have okay. a guest on this podcast, Wolf. <laughs> at some point, dude. Oh see what God. happens if you try to tear apart videos with him. Dude, I <laughs> I would kill. I would kill to have him on my podcast. Oh that would be the God. best episode ever. It's like, how does he move everything around without, like, knocking down some of the stuff? It's crazy. Oh, He's so exact. He's so precise. Jared, I will have you on my podcast on one condition. You have to bring back the little bird's nest haircut that you used to have, where you shaved everything except for the center of your head. It if was like a reverse fryer. <laughs> it was like a reverse bowl cut. You know? Yeah. A little okay. island. All right. All right. So. Okay. Just do that and I'll bring you so, on, Jared. It's like, I like how there's books in his room. It's like, yeah, that's a five bag. I was fucking get touched all the time. <laughs> he has to read books. He writes fan fiction. It's true. He so does sort he of. Really? He doesn't think he doesn't think it's very great, though. <laughs> what do you mean, does he really? <laughs> He's invented that Ray killed Han. <laughs> 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 okay. <clears throat> Imagine watching it in the cinema with him and coming out with him saying that. You'd be like, what the fuck did you watch? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I like the part with the dinosaurs and the car chase. And like, what? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, those fucking lima beans. I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with Thanos though. His plan seems harsh. <laughs> it's like okay. I he, yeah that mo that that moment of lucidity from Jared. <laughs> per <laughs> philosophical insight for just a brief fleeting second. Personally, I think that Sam Raimi is a better director than Ryan Johnson, but you know. Yeah, like, but how does he snap with gloves on? Is it, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, by the way, what you just said, that's like the classic review before it all got super, um, uh, I don't know, commercialized, I guess, where people just talked, and it was just yeah. random thoughts, and I actually it's like missed half those in the bag, times. you know? Yeah, well, you just, you just randomly go, you know what, that just made me think of this random thing right over here. Let's talk about that for a sec. You're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. There's but, an authenticity to this that I like a lot. It's you know, great. I would watch it's his reviews really before any of the fucking popular <laughs> ones. fucking <laughs> hard. Dude, I would it's watch. You have to wait seven months to get them, but it's worth the wait. I, I he would... has to formulate his thoughts for seven months. They have to simmer in his head. <laughs> like, like if you guys lived close, we'd be like, if it was a weekly release, we'd be like, come over, have some drinks, we'll watch the new Jared. <laughs> God, don't give Jared alcohol, Jesus fucking Christ. I wouldn't invite him over. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking yes. about all of us. Oh, okay. uh, it's not like him. Like if we were close, okay. Gosh. Dude, if he released a new video every Friday, it would be my most anticipated TV. TV show oh. ever. <laughs> it's like, all right, Jared, we're gonna watch the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. It's gonna be great. You'll love it, dude. If I watched this video before I watched the Last Jedi, I would feel more sad that the Last Jedi didn't reflect this video. Yeah, like the review was way better than the <laughs> film. Honestly, <laughs> shit, really, dude. Just get a fucking life. I'm sorry, but you're a bunch of losers, and you care way too much about a goddamn movie. And that's another you made a review why. on it. <laughs> He's like, you made a review on it, and it wasn't even the movie. <laughs> like, I, I can tell you don't I care. Mean, I think me and Rags are the same about this, but, like, people have done it before. It's like, you care way too much. It's like, oh, right, right, right. So just let me get a pen out. How much am I allowed to care? Just let me know. <laughs> He's like, is it bad to care? You're like, only allowed to care 20%. Care? Well, 8k, yeah. 9k, is that too much? Now that we've established that I can care too much, and caring is not good, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> well, because the argument would be like, this isn't life and death, you're not talking about, like, politics, it's like, goddamn right I'm not talking about politics. <laughs> Hell yeah, about you, know, you want to fucking start that shit with me. You should be thankful we're only talking about The Last Jedi. It is. So yeah, annoying. So, yeah. The yeah. arbiters of what's allowed to be talked about. Abolish profit. Yeah. I never really got big into Star Trek it was because of Trekkies. I, they're a bunch of losers, man. They're a bunch of dorks. I love it's like those things that just tell us who loses them. <laughs> yeah, those losers over there. Those loser Trekkies. They, they're not like me at all. Dude, I, He's the guy in the high school canteen who's pointing at all the other groups like, you're all losers. Dude, He's <laughs> sitting alone in the corner. He's like, look at all those losers. I, I think there. I those cracked the code. Degenerate. I think I got it. He's never watched Star Wars, but he has watched the movie Fanboys. Which is a parody of Star Wars, and there's a po there's two points in the movie where they meet a bunch of Star Trek fans, and they're fucking retards, and they just call them Trekkies, and they're like, "We gotta beat the shit out of the Trekkies." I'm pretty sure Does that explain why he thinks Ray killed. Him? <laughs> I think that's the extent of his Star Wars knowledge. He watched Fanboys one time, and he's going off of that. <laughs> With too many toys, all right? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, I, have, um, um, question. Steady in the I, I have a question. Um, it, 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 what, sorry, let's see, let's uh, count them. Uh, we got one on, dresser, one, the dresser, uh, one on the dresser, one hanging off the dresser, uh, another next to you, two more on the right. That's five that we can see. Why isn't his wastebasket on the ground? Just god damn those. It's like, you're not allowed to have toys. Like, imagine, okay. imagine what's in that fucking red bin, <laughs> fucking treasure trove that's in there. <laughs> you just find like a half-eaten yo-yo. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> this how did it taste? It was kind of streamy, but you know, otherwise, it was like, <laughs> He's like, I can see what they were trying to do, and they did it well. But <laughs> and, and like, this like, is a better or worse than the other yo-yos. <laughs> Probably like that was <laughs> that was the <laughs> shittiest the shittiest Oreo I've ever had in my life. I'm <laughs> seriously, if you guys yo -yo next. if you guys would rather eat skateboards, get a fucking life. <laughs> Look, I just thought oh, it was a jelly filled donut. It was a little bit tougher than I expected, but it had good texture. What do you mean? Why haven't I got rid of it? I'm attached to it. 
I was saving no, it I might, for later. I might want it for later. <laughs> you know, the survival. You know, if, I get trapped, if I trapped in my room, I might need to eat that other half of the yo-yo. I have to. I have to keep the box shut. It keeps trying to break out. If I need to escape out the window, I can use the yo-yo. <laughs> it recommends video ideas. I need to. Oh, I was like, what does the yo-yo say, Jared? What does the yo-yo tell you? <laughs> Got so much more content out of this than, like... What if James Ralph is the yo-yo? <laughs> <laughs> he just has a... He's the key to the yo-yo. He just I has a... Us about the yo-yo, Jared. <laughs> I like it how how we're making fun of him for making up fan fictions and look at us. <laughs> look at what we're doing. Fucking like yo-yo. Hashtag free the yo-yo. <laughs> oh my god. We're becoming Jared. <laughs> yeah, you can't expose yourself too long. You do get infected. Yeah, I know I, I just make sure to look away. Side of their mother's basement. <laughs> it's the same as Star Wars. You, know? uh, <laughs> you live in your mother's attic. Yeah, that's why there's light coming through the window, or else. Yeah, a lot of fanboys and fangirls are just. They're kind of cancerous. I'm sorry, but I just have to be honest. Like, seeing all these people fight in the comments when I'm watching these Star Wars clips, it's just really sad, man. I mean, it is really, really sad. Well, I can and say I've been happy throughout the course of this humanity. video. I mean, really, guys, oh, yeah. if you want a sobering thought, it is alien. sad to argue. Now he's talking about why aliens have never come to visit us. Why? Oh, is he why doing a Dan Aykroyd on us? Yeah, I think so. Listen, oh, aliens never came to visit us. Yeah, <laughs> there you oh, I was right. I told you. Over the strangest things. Um, oh, Jesus. Well, clearly look, the aliens mean. would come and visit Jared. He's the one rational person in the world. Jared, we have seen your YouTube videos beamed into outer space. It's we must speak with you. Logic. Tell us the secrets of James Wolf or Ralph. <laughs> you know James how we uh, we see animals just rip each other apart or just you know try and fuck trees because they're so like they don't even communicate properly with other species, or whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we don't just go. You know what? I'm not even going to interact with those aliens, those things because they're just yeah, it's pathetic. That is can't even communicate. Well, if aliens came to our universe, they were like, oh, they're arguing about someone created something, and people are arguing about it. It's like, oh, okay. Hey, hey guess, that's what I, we do. Hey, it's like I guess we'll just go because that's just pathetic. <laughs> it's like why, why would like sentient beings argue? That's weird. It's not what we do at all. Yes, we do. Yes, and I'm sure Jared really has never gotten into that kind of argument with anybody ever. I'm sure that he's never got. I think he has responses to me. He literally has videos where he has he has his webcam. He changes it. He he puts it on his screen while my video plays. Right, oh, and then he, and he clicks what? like he, he he videotapes the screen as my video plays, right? and then he clicks it, and then he, he responds. But so You're joking? No way! No, no, I'm not. He has a response to like a, an old PC console video that I did. Is it funny? That's <laughs> <laughs> all the math. I don't know. It'd be probably great. We could save it for another podcast, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Every, every podcast by law has to have a Jared <laughs> Genesis video. Every yeah, you realize, well, he's he's your Brett Keen now, you know that, right? Yeah, I mean, every podcast, aside from the late night gaming one, where we only watched one video, every single one this year has had Jared Genesis in it, so... <laughs> it's gonna continue this, forever. This has been my favorite one. This, this has been great. <laughs> You guys, this I is going to go down in history review. as the best of our podcast so far. <laughs> my review wasn't that lengthy. It's like you fucking didn't talk about the movie at all. <laughs> you made up a movie. Why did you even call this The Last Jedi <laughs> Review? You can summarize this. He did not review The Last Jedi. He reviewed a movie he made up based on The Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but look, that's all I really got for you guys. I know that my Thanks. review wasn't that minute lengthy left. or in-depth. But I just wanted to say I did enjoy the movie. Um, fucking um, Chewbacca and R two D two were in it. They <laughs> 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 appeared in it. There was there was the mountains at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jared. <laughs> it's like shit. it's like he, he, I didn't think he could possibly one up himself. 
said I, I need him I, to confirm who else is in it, otherwise I won't know. I like how the characters that he randomly says are in it he goes to Chewbacca and R2-D2. <laughs> <Like, laughs> what it's, a strange pairing. The two characters yeah, that like, have the least amount of anything to do with one another. Yeah, they're like, they're like not even... With. One of them's completely irrelevant, and the other one is just an Uber driver. It's like, yeah, you chose the two, like, least interesting or least relevant characters. Like, he doesn't say anything about, you know, uh, yeah, Carrie Fisher. Uh, he doesn't say anything about Admiral Akbar. He, he did mention say... Luke earlier, so he had that. Not Luke. He mentioned Han Solo. and Chewbacca. <laughs> Well, if, mean, you well asked him who, if you he, asked he him who Carrie Admiral Fisher Akbar is, is. He, he wouldn't remember Admiral Ackbar. He'd just be like, who's that? Yeah. I mean, if you I asked him who Carrie it, Fisher it, was, he'd probably Akbar ask if it was a fisherman. Who... <laughs> Whatever it's called, not R2-D2, but the little ball thing. Uh, <laughs> R2-D2 <laughs> is in the <laughs> <laughs> Just what I said, I completely agree. He's like, oh no. <laughs> right, never mind. Here's something. Oh my god, I want to see things from his perspective. It's so much fun. <laughs> Just like, oh, watch no, a no, film, no. it's just nothing like what actually no, happened. You see, Ryan Johnson, this is how you do comedy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a fucking riot. Oh god, that yeah, I, like this I is this is a set. Fun. He walks off it into his real room, and he's just <laughs> this this is working. People believe it. <laughs> he's secretly a genius. <laughs> gonna play it? I was gonna say I can't. If Rex <laughs> did a Rex no way to play it. <laughs> Let's see. I'll try, but it's rarely Fine. ever worked. Yeah. Oh my god! Um, you have the power. I, I, I guess that's I'm, all I'm, hold really up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the loop real quick. I need. I need to. I need a. Little, I need a pee break. Uh, I, I just went and got a water bottle because my head hurts from laughing so much. Yeah, just... <laughs> I, I've been having alcohol. It makes it better. Well, dude, it's it's like nine in the morning. I can't drink it. Oh, pfft. you're Australian. You can't say that. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. We were always drinking. Like and shit, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I mean, I I probably just say that. Nobody no drinks where fosters. Anyone... It does seem to me that most areas of the world have their own like, oh, that's their alcohol, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, um... well, what about Americans? What do they have? Well, pff... Beard? <laughs> just in I guess so. <laughs> we got Bud Light. <laughs> I've heard of Bud yeah, Light. Yeah. But, this... Like, it's probably not even very strong, though, is it? Oh, I don't drink, even, so I'm... I don't know. I'm really bad on this, but like there are like even for Britain or for specific countries, it's like oh yeah, they have their X, you know? Yeah, yeah. We got loads though. We got heaps here. Yeah, when I was in Scotland, they had a whole bunch too. Of, like, is is Ireland whiskey. at the top of the list of countries that would be drunk? You know, like Ireland's. You higher. hear that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say like because who else in the world sort of gets that? Moniker as well. Would it be Russia? Russia's pretty high up too, right? Ah, uh, well, for elevate. vodka, yeah. Yeah, for, for vodka. Vodka. Because, uh, you know, there's, there's always jokes. It's like, instead of a morning coffee, they'll just have a morning vodka. <laughs> it's too cold. The best even part of work. waking up is vodka in your cup. 50 seconds, we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to oh. take us another half hour. Oh, Jesus. I mean, hey... Constant gold, man. Fucking shit. I don't know how Quentin's gonna be able to hold up to this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're doing Quentin, aren't we? That'll be fun. Man, That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Quentin's just gonna bore us after this. This is do you, want, do you want to grab that one up next, though? Yeah, I, you, got, I was gonna say, he says a couple said, things that are sure to inflame us, inflame us in some way. I put a link in, by the way, on the Discord. Alright, All right, we can get that done in a second here. For you guys, I'm sorry. It's not that in-depth. But, uh, <laughs> no, I, I, really I like the vagueness, else. though. It's a little vague, just a little vague. The vagueness you know, his is great it, because you have to figure out what he's actually saying. <laughs> he'll like, vague. he'll give you clues as he goes. It's like dude, Goku, man. <laughs> dude, dude, he is downward thrust done correctly. <laughs> like, when you have no talent, but you can still make good content. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So Darth Vader, the scene with Darth Vader and uh, what? And, uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold up, hold up. Scoot back a little bit. Maybe he's Scoot referring back. to 
something okay. else. All right, all right. Well, may maybe, maybe. <laughs> Prepare for another heart all right. attack. <laughs> all right. Really did enjoy also Darth Vader, the scene with Darth Vader and um, <laughs> Wait, okay. dude. Okay. Okay, go back a bit more, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is no way. God right, seriously, dude, think the this. little ball thing. Uh, I forget what that's called, but. Um, I don't know. I guess that's all I really got for you guys. I'm sorry. It's not that in depth. But, um, no, I, I really did enjoy also Darth Vader, the scene with Darth Vader and <laughs> his other dude. Um, not. What are you talking about? <laughs> See, this, this is what he does. So all of us have now got to discuss what he might mean. <laughs> making shit up. <laughs> it's not. Well, well, since he thinks I mean, that... he's talking about Snoke, I'm. I think he's talking about. Snoke I don't know, here. man. I don't know. I think he might be talking about Ray going down into the dark side area, maybe. But she only saw I mean, herself. Somehow, yeah. Somehow, but he thinks that Ray is Kylo. So who fucking? Knows? <laughs> you know, you know when she sees the shadows. Maybe he thought that was Vader. I don't know. No, wait. When Kylo Ren still had his helmet, he probably thought that was Darth Vader. And then for the seven <laughs> seconds he had it, <laughs> <laughs> then he took it off and revealed he's not Vader, <laughs> but he's Vader. <laughs> Who the fuck is he talking about? I love, I love Darth Vader when he unmasked himself and then revealed to not be Darth. Vader. <laughs> it turned out he was an angsty teenager. It's like, imagine, imagine misidentifying the most iconic <laughs> character in all cinematic history. <laughs> I got, I got, a, I got a hear uh, more of I this. I forget what that's called, but um, I don't know. I, I guess that's all I really got for you guys. I'm sorry, it's not that in depth. But um, <laughs> no kidding. No, I, I really did enjoy also Darth Vader, the scene with Darth Vader. And, uh, <laughs> who's that other dude? Um, not Ray, but um, fucking. Do with the long hair. So he does know. He knows he that there's a distinction. It's so piece of angel. It's a creep shot. It's a creep shot. We're trying. Who are these mystery Ooh. people in this movie that you watch? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think they oh, gave guys. you a ticket. They gave you a ticket and you just walked into the wrong theater. <laughs> you have like we all rewatch it together. There's just this scene with Darth Vader, which is like, wait, what the Like, fuck? oh, how did we all it's like it's like every literally every except for him missed the Darth Vader scene. <laughs> but he saw it. <laughs> Man. It was people don't get to in the theater watching the movie with Oh, Darth Vader! Like, like there was a, like a whole three-minute scene with Darth Vader. We just all, everyone missed it except for Jared. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, do you, you remember it?" It's like, "Oh, like he battles Luke <laughs> while explaining Snoke's history," and we're just like, "Jesus Christ!" This makes so much fucking sense. <laughs> this must have been in the extended edition that hasn't been released yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh jeez. <laughs> 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 just, just the purity of his mannerisms. <laughs> at least oh. it's not like that fucking dramatic sigh that Philip Mushin made at the beginning of his when, fucking apology video. When are you going to rename the stream the Chromosome? <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> May as well start now. <laughs> Ray was a chick. Anyways, guys, I apologize. I can't remember. I swear he was a chick. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> I swear he was a chick. I can't remember the guy's name. But oh, he, he does remember that he's a guy, at least. Yeah, he's a guy, I think. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> no, Ray was a chick. Anyways, guys, I apologize. I yeah, he just realized that Ray is a woman. Yeah. He just remembered. Damn, son. <laughs> She's not bad looking either. I was like, it's Man, all this time uh, I thought I was becoming gay, but. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, bummer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, 20 seconds. Oh, no, I, I like that guy with the black hair. Guy. Yeah, he's great. I, I enjoyed him in uh, Rogue One as well. What? I believe it was. Who, Duff Vader? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How? All right. How? Who is we, in we... Rogue One that is in The Lost Jedi, aside from C-3PO and R2-D2? Are either of them in Rogue One? 
Yeah, Where? there's a cameo. Uh, okay. That's why I'm saying aside from them, because I don't fucking count. It's not Ray, is it? No, Ray was a chick. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I apologize. I don't remember his name, but... Uh, he does a good job, though, playing who? an evil bad Wait, guy. Who? I, I enjoyed him in uh, Rogue He's One. He's talking well. about Kylo Ren up there. He's not in Rogue One? What the fuck <laughs> I know. is that thing? <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Wait, he thinks, he thinks Rogue One is Force Awakens now, doesn't he? <laughs> Kylo Ren it. wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't. I was about to say he wasn't born. <laughs> He yeah, no, but he's mixed up the fucking titles because he has no <laughs> idea what's going on. You're like 15 like, years <laughs> too early, Jared. It's like I it's like Kylo's parents haven't even met yet. <laughs> See, this is <laughs> you're right about the downward thrust comparison because at least he just makes it obvious. He has no fucking clue what Star Wars is. He's just like <laughs> Rogue One is the one with Darth but Jared's Vader. Jared's not gonna really let that get in the way of a good review. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but we can all see it. While with Downward Thrust, he sort of hides it, so you have to actually like figure it out. Um, I just love, I love the sincerity. Yeah, <coughs> such a pure angel. <laughs> we only got fourteen seconds, guys. All right. Forty seconds of gold. Um, I actually did see a fairly good chunk of Rogue One. I'll probably finish that up, and I'll go. <laughs> <and> go <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 oh my god, this is oh, perfect. Oh. <laughs> he hasn't me... seen all of Rogue One, but he knows that Kylo Ren's in it. <laughs> let, let me... <laughs> he has seen half of it, so he would know. Oh, he has another video called Original Star Wars is Overrated. <laughs> and He hasn't seen episode 5. <laughs> so I'm... I'm... Yeah, he, he Dude, hasn't I'm made it yet. I'm gonna die if I see any more of this in <laughs> he, he has a vocal cover of a Narnia song. He what? Some other stuff. He, oh has, ooh, he has a Jurassic Park. He has a Jurassic Park and a Ghostbusters review. Oh my! Well, yeah, he made it. He made it shortly after my nigga freestyle. Wait, wait, wait. Can we just? Because I doubt we're gonna be pausing it too much. Can you just play his? The last seven seconds. His, <laughs> no, okay, okay. the the song that he w sings. I want to hear what he. What he sings. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have to stay focused. <laughs> Seven <laughs> seconds. We can do it. Okay, we can do it. You guys, but anyways, hope you enjoyed my review, guys. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we, we sure <laughs> shit did. Peace. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> that I'm was... I'm like that video right now. No, stop. I'm gonna like this video. That was <laughs> incredible. I fucking can't believe people dislike this. This is fucking amazing. I can't... That brilliant. That was... The best YouTube video I think I have ever seen. This is, unironically, maybe <laughs> the most entertaining YouTube video I have ever seen. Please like. I, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tweet that out right now. Wow. This is, unironically, the most entertaining video I have ever seen. Please like this video. And subscribe. <laughs> Wow. I was I was laughing so hard it hurt. <laughs>